and one of the girls indirectly told her father she's interested in him. And the father immediately said yes. And they got married. So an Israeli got married to an Arab in the Qur'an. And the one from Israel was also homeless and a fugitive from the law. The only thing the father needed to see was قَوِيُّنْ أَمِينَ Three things. One, the girl's interested. That was number one. She liked him. Number two, he's strong. He's got good character, good qualities in him. He can do a job. He can make money. He can defend my family. And then he's trustworthy. He had plenty of opportunity to do the wrong thing. He did no such thing. He carried himself with dignity. When you have these three qualities, ethnicity didn't matter, financial status didn't matter, none of that mattered. None of that mattered. As a matter of fact, in this case, if nowadays when you say this, it sounds suicidal, for 10 years, between 8 and 10 years, Musa salam lived with his in-laws and worked for his father-in-law. And his paycheck came from his in-laws. Today when you say to somebody, hey, where do you work? Oh, I work for my father-in-law. And I live with them too. <laughs> well, what a, what a guy. This is a real man? This is a man even? He lives with his in-laws? You want to question the manhood of Musa alayhi salam? Try what, see what happens to you. Because you don't want to get punched by that man alayhi salam. What I'm saying is there are sometimes unusual situations. And Allah mentions them on purpose in the Qur'an because sometimes the marriage is going to be under unusual situations. Not every situation can be ideal. And in your family, if there's an unusual situation, don't sit there and cry, why couldn't we have a normal kind of situation? That's okay. Life is not about normal. Actually, when you dig deep in every family, there's no such thing as normal. Every one of us is weird. Every one of us has strange situations in their family. So we have to adapt, and we have to be flexible, and we have to be merciful to our coming generation, allowing them to get married in a healthy way, and having that open conversation with our sons and with our daughters.